currently in the literature, there's a great deal of focus on happiness and what happiness is and how you can achieve it. Meaningfulness has received less attention in the literature. They were working recently to try and pin down what exactly is meaningfulness and how does it differ from happiness. So happiness is more associated with being kind of a taker, meaningfulness is more associated with being a giver. But meaningfulness, it turns out, is a bit more complex. There's actually kind of three components of meaning. Uh, there's purpose, mattering, and comprehension. And purpose is all about feeling that you have a sense of direction, goals, and mission in life. Mattering is all about feeling that you matter to the social world. So it's feeling that your life has significance and value and importance. And comprehension is really all about kind of feeling that the world has some kind of order, structure, and predictability, and that life just makes sense. For students in the classroom, it really helps if you step back and really think about what you are learning in the class and how that will impact kind of the bigger picture. Uh, so seeing how what you're doing connects to the greater good and how it's a piece to a larger puzzle can really help you see the meaningfulness in what you're doing. And I think from a business perspective, I think really helping employees see how what they've done in the past connects to the present and the future can really give them a good sense of purpose. And they can really start to see how what they're doing at work has purpose. And then on a broader sense, depending on what your particular job is or business is, connecting to the world can also matter. If what you're doing in the workplace or as part of a business is connected to improving or bettering the planet or society at large, then emphasizing that to employees can really be beneficial for their meaningfulness. Given my background in time perception research, I immediately saw meaningfulness through the lens of time. Because when people say they want a meaningful life, well, what is life but just kind of little strands of time strung together. So if you really want to understand how to make a meaningful life, you really need to view it through the lens of time and see how can I make my time spent or construed more meaningfully.